Well, let's move on to the next page. Here, at the top of the page, the structure of the sialic acid is shown. So, the neuraminidase acts on this one to release the virus from the cell. The two medicines which we use as an inhibitor for these enzymatic activities also shown here. You can see that they have similar structure. So look, we have this structure here, same structure we have here. We have a ring structure here, so we have ring structure in these ones. And here you have a lot of OH group, a lot of OH group. So these medicines are very similar to the substrate of the enzyme. So instead of the enzyme acting on this one, this one connects to the enzyme and it inhibits its enzymatic activity. The structure of these two medicines, azeltamivir and zanamivir, are given in the IB data booklet. But you must know their functional groups. Okay? So let's start from this one, azeltamivir. The functional groups that you have here, you have alkenyl group, you have ether group here, you can see ether group here, you have primary amino group here, you have carboxyamide group, carboxyamide is the amide, and you have ester, which you can see here. So these are the functional group of azeltamavir. Here for the zanamavir, the functional groups that you have, again, you have alkenyl group here, you have etheric group here, you have primary amino, two of the primary amino here, you have carboxyamide functional group here. You have carboxylic acid functional group here. And you have three hydroxyl functional group. So you must know these functional groups. They are very important. And they ask you to write down the functional groups that you have in each of these medicines. Okay, they may ask you different type of the question. For example, they can tell you what is the functional group which is available in oseltamavir, but it's not available in zanamavir, or vice versa. And also they can ask you, for example, which one of these medicines can be soluble in water or more soluble in water. Obviously, the zanamavir, because it has three hydroxyl group, alcoholic functional group, and it has carboxylic acid functional group, all of them can form the hydrogen bond with the water. Same thing for the amine group that you have here. So this one, zanamavir, is more water soluble than azeltamavir. So, Okay, the mode of action for both of them, they are neomarinidase inhibitor. This one, Ozeltamavir, has taken orally. This one goes, or they take it by inhalation. For the Ozeltamavir, some of the flu virus shows some resistance to that, but for the Zanamavir, up to date, no resistance is reported for that one. But they have some counter effects as well. For example, the ozeltamavir can cause nausea and vomiting, and the zanamavir can cause the asthma.